Physics. Physics is the fundamental science that explores the nature of the universe, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. It's about understanding the principles that govern matter, energy, space, and time. We use this science to answer questions and solve mysteries that puzzled humans since they covered their reproductive organs with leaves and lived in caves, and had wives with mustache, like why the sky is blue, why eclipses happen, and why you're in love with your crush even though she doesn't even know you exist. It has a lot of different branches like classical mechanics, which explains how everyday life objects move or electromagnetism that covers electricity and magnets, also quantum mechanics, and it is exclusive for the super tiny particles, or the subatomic world, and relativity, for understanding high-speed moving objects and gravity. Physics is behind many technological advancements like smartphones, MRI machines, and everyone's favorite, the internet. If you are interested in learning about the major inventions in human history, watch this video. If you want an in-depth look at physics theories, tell me in the comments. Because believe it or not, I actually have a master's degree in theoretical physics. By the way, how do you like the new voice? And if you are wondering why I don't use my real voice, I'm an alien. So, this is how I actually sound like. <coughs> chemistry. Chemistry started as a subfield of physics, and it was all about mixing stuff and seeing what happens. But apparently, and just like the cartel, they took mixing stuff too far. So it had to branch out of physics and become a field of its own. Yeah. Chemistry studies the properties and behaviors of matter. This matter consists of a bunch of chemical elements, and when they interact with each other, stuff happens. Hello, right here. Yeah, just right here. Just go ahead and put that right in here. There are many subfields in chemistry like organic chemistry, which focus on the carbon-containing compounds, or biochemistry, which explores chemical processes related to living organisms, and many more. Chemistry is crucial for making medicines, creating new materials, and even improving food. In a sense, we can look at chemistry like a bridge between physics and biology. Biology. This field is the science of life. This is my favorite field, because I really love studying living things. Especially the human. Anyways, biology explores everything from the tiniest microorganisms to the largest ecosystems. And just like how Michael Jackson is centered around kids, biology is centered around the cell. The cell is like a tiny building block. And when they come together like guys on a threesome, they construct life. Moreover, they are different from life form to life form, meaning that animal cells and plant cells exhibit different properties. That's why there are subfields like botany, which is the study of plants, or zoology, which, come on, it's obvious what it is. <coughs> Boom! Other than that, biology also focuses on studying genetics and the DNA, or evolution, and the study of how species change over time, or microbiology, to study small organisms like bacteria, viruses, and some other microorganisms, your PP included as well. Biology helps us understand diseases, improve crops, and protect the environment. Geology. Geology is about studying the Earth. From how it formed, to its structure and composition. Geologists study rocks, minerals, volcanoes, earthquakes aka Caso doing jumping jacks, and fossils to understand this planet's past and predict any changes that might happen in the future. I feel like Caso is getting roasted in every single one of my videos. My bad. Anyways, there are a lot of branches like mineralogy, and it studies the structure and properties of minerals. While petrology focuses on the conditions under which rocks form, paleontology looks at ancient life forms through fossils to see which ones got screwed by natural selection. Why are you bullying me? You fucking bitch, why are you bullying me? Everyone asks. Seismology studies earthquakes and seismic waves, helping human predict natural disasters, while also understanding and exploring the Earth's interior. Am I the only one who got hard? Anyways, geology is very important not just to understand the earth and prevent natural disasters, but also to locate natural resources like minerals, gas and oil, then the US government will invade you and take it from you, and other useful stuff. Computer science. Computer science is the study of algorithms, data structures, software design, and the principles of computing, understanding how computers process information and solve problems, and eventually, how to effectively instruct computers on tasks to perform. There is also the programming part which involves writing code to create software and applications, or viruses depending on your ethical compass. Among the many branches of computer science there are, artificial intelligence, because isn't it fun to create a smart entity that can potentially wipe the entire humanity, isn't it? On a serious note, AI won't take over humanity don't worry. Or cybersecurity, which helps in protecting computers, networks, and data from unauthorized access, attacks, and damage, aka, Indian scammers and Nigerian princes. Or video games. Amogus. So you can please help Rockstar release GTA 6 before I die, or web development, aka, the easiest job on the planet, and many more. Come on, man. That's too easy. Mathematics. 
Mathematics is the abstract study of numbers, quantities, shapes, and patterns, providing a framework for logical reasoning and problem solving. It's like solving puzzles that explain how the world works, going from the simplest arithmetic to complex theories. There's algebra, which focuses on solving equations and understanding relationships between variables. Geometry, and it studies shapes, sizes, and the properties of space, and solving the mystery of why your mom is so big. There's also calculus, and it explores derivatives and integrals, and statistics analyzes data to make decisions and predictions. There are many more branches, but if we mention them all, we won't finish the video, and I wanna go whack it off because I'm still hard from that earth interior part. Anyways, mathematics is used in absolutely every single field of science. Why else do you think they call it the language of the universe? Medical science. Medical science covers many subjects, which try to explain how the human body works, and research of biological processes and diseases with the aim of developing new treatments to improve the overall health, and in result prolonging lifespan. In order to achieve this, medicine combines a mixture of different sciences from biology to physics. Medical science is applied through medicine, which is dedicated to diagnosing, treating, and preventing injuries and diseases like ear cancer from listening to Takashi 69 Niggas It came a long way too, That's pretty good. from conducting a brutally complex surgery with the only calming agent being a bottle of vodka, to doing a surgery with almost no side effects at all to increase the size of your wife's tits. Psychology. Psychology is the scientific study of the mind and the human behavior in order to understand how people think, what is going on inside their head, feel, and act both individually and in social contexts. Like why some people enjoy killing others, or why you turn into a simp when your crush is talking to you aiming to improve mental health and well-being, which can be done through therapies to manage emotional and behavioral issues, which is known as clinical psychology, there is cognitive psychology, and it studies mental processes such as perception, memory, learning, and problem solving, revealing how humans acquire and use knowledge. Developmental psychology examines how people grow and change throughout their lives, from infancy to old age, social psychology explores how individuals interact and influence each other, investigating topics like group behavior and social perception. And here you go guys, if you didn't manage to find your field in this list, it's probably a subfield of one of these, or honestly, not that important. Goodbye.